Hey, what's up, screen printers? Welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by LearnHowToScreenPrint.com. In today's video, we're going to show you some quick, easy, simple ways to add registration marks to your film positives and uh, channel separations inside Photoshop. Um, these are available to download on the website. Uh, you can download the registration marks or these exact same files, designs that we're using in the video. Um, this design here, we used it in the color separations video and the underbase video. Those are also available to download from the website. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We'll get started. Um, let's go over to the Layers panel here. I'm going to unlock that. And we're going to add a new layer on this new layer. Um, let's make layer 0 visible. Or excuse me, let's hide that. So now it's not visible. But now we need to go over to the Channels panel. We will... Uh, turn off each one of those channel separations and for this uh, design looks like we're about 12 inches wide so let's move over a guide to six inches you need to add that uh, to wherever the middle of your design is going to be you know if it's 10 inches you're using you know if you're outputting your films and it's, the design is going to be 10 inches just uh, move over the registration or excuse me the guide to five inches that way you know where to put this first registration all right, so I already have these um, registration marks, custom ones I made inside Illustrator. I have them in a libraries panel. Uh, let's open up the panel here, and we're going to drag that over. I'm going to move that right to the middle. Let's zoom in here. There we go. All right, so actually that moved on to its own layer instead of the layer that we uh, created. Let's go ahead and delete that. And let's rasterize this layer. Let's move this over to the edge. So we're going to select that, hit Alt and Shift as you're moving. That way it keeps it exactly, you know, in line with the other one. Move that, okay. Just move one to the other side. Alt, begin moving, hit Shift. It keeps it exactly in line, just like the other one. All right, so now we have middle and top registration marks added. We're going to select each one of those layers, merge them. Now with that, we're going to take that down to the bottom. Hit Alt, Shift, start moving on down. There you go. So now we've added registration marks to this uh, canvas. We're going to merge those. Now we need to add each one of those um, to each channel separation. So I'm going to hit Control, click the icon there. So now I'm selecting everything on this layers. All right, I'm going to turn off the visibility of that layer. I'm going to move over to the channels, and let's turn on the white. So now with the white channel selected, let me close this so you can see. The white channel selected, we still have those registration marks um, selected. And with the foreground color um, as black, you're going to hit Alt, Backspace. And so now you filled that area with black. And that's what you want for your film positives. You want it nice and dark. So let's move over to the next channel. It's still selected. The registration marks are still selected there. I've never hit uh, Control-D. So now again, we're going to hit Alt, Backspace. Let's move to the next channel, Alt, Backspace, last channel, Alt, Backspace. Now I can hit Control D and that's going to deselect everything there. And there you go. So now we've got our own custom registration marks added uh, to each one of the channel separations and we can output these to uh, the films. But one last thing. So now, you know, once you get into the screen room, um, you know, sometimes you ask yourself, hey, which film positive is this? Is this the white base? Is this gold? What mesh count do I need? So let's go ahead and add that info to each one of these uh, channels. So with the white base selected, we'll turn off the visibility of the other channels. Go over to the text tool. Alright, and then we'll just start typing white base. Let's say 180 mesh. Move that over. It's not printing on the uh, registration mark there. 
Okay, there we go. Let's let's keep that font. I think it was the last font I used. All right, so now we have that white base, 180 mesh. Let's go over to the next one. Just double click there, hit Control C on the uh, the channel info. And we'll take the type tool, hit Control V. So now I know that you know when I print off this film positive, and once we get in the screen room, that this color is going to be a gold Pantone 1355C. Let's add the mesh count there. Let's say uh, two thirds. Oh. Control Z, let's back it up here. Control Z, let's back it up. Let's go over to the history. Let's back it up. Alright, start typing that in there. Nope, back it up. Alright, deselect, there we go. Okay, so let's just start back on this fresh. Control C. The type tool, control V, and let's just keep adding that 230 mesh. So now we'll move this over. It's a lot of info, kind of big. We'll make that smaller, that way it's not distracting once we're registering the screens. Move that down. There we go. Control D. So now I have. Um, that info added to the uh, channel separation there. White base. Oh, did I back up too much? Okay, let's go back and do that to the white base. Control C, type tool, Control V, 180 mesh. Move that over. Control D. There you go. Okay, let's go to the next one. Double click that. Control C. Type tool. Control V. 230 mesh. Make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Control D. And last. But not least, Control C, Type Tool, Control V, 230 Mesh. Um, if you need us to do your channel separations, we're available to do that. We can uh, definitely provide that service for you, and we also uh, provide film output uh, services. So if you need some film positives, hey. Don't don't hesitate. Just head over to the website, hit Control D, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, knock out the film positives for you. We're gonna deselect the RGB or delete the RGB layer. Turn off the shirt color. Make each one of these layers visible. Excuse me, channels. There we go. So now we are ready to output these to film positive. Let's go ahead and do that. File. Print. And with our printer, we're printing this to Accurip, and then Accurip will send it to the Epson P800. And color handling. Uh, by default, I think it'll either say printer ma manages colors or Photoshop, but uh, you want to make sure you change that to separations. And it looks like everything's not going to be printed if we print it, uh, the film positive, at 5 and a quarter by 4 and 3 quarters. So let's make this a little bit bigger with our um, our uh, printer uh, we can print 17 inches wide by right now I've got a roll on there so hey man if you need some you know nice size uh, film positives don't hesitate alright so let's make this uh, 12 and a quarter wide and then uh, I don't remember the exact height so let's just try 15 Hit OK OK there we go. So it looks like 15 was pretty large there. Let's uh, not waste so much paper, so much film. Let's back this off. 13. There you go. So now we've got a little bit of edge. I mean, we could even go down, you know, another inch or so. And we'll do that. 
12. There you go. Perfect. So now we're going to output the film positives or the channel separations to film and then uh, we can go burn the screens. So, um, hey, you know, if you need the registration marks, head over to learnhowtoscreenprint.com and uh, download those. Or if you need the channel separations or uh, if you need film, head on over there. So let's go ahead and hit print and then we will send this to the printer.